modified foods. What does that prove? Why is it necessary? If one look at genetic modification, it is because there is a identified problem in the design that makes it clear that one can improve on the programmed design. And it in fact then proves that God in his so-called almightiness was not perfect, but in fact imperfect, and uh, that in his imperfection could only design imperfection and genetically modified foods is one of our greatest proofs that God in fact is not real but purely an illusionary belief system. If you look at the absolute madness and insanity that comes from those that believe in Jesus and God, you can clearly see that uh, this psychiatric industry in the future is going to make a lot of money once the God issue has been made to lay to rest so that one can get all these with voices in their heads claiming that they are hearing God locked away because they have gone so far off track in terms of what is here to do on earth that they purely only harm everything in the name of God while this God is already proven to be uh, illusion and delusion and in fact that life as it exists in this reality is in fact a program design which can be improved on and that is the whole point of equality we can actually improve on our design and have this reality in a way that's best for all and all we have to do to do this is identify all those that deliberately do not want what is best for all and eliminate them and in that elimination we will have what's best for all. Obviously they can eliminate themselves by changing their stance to what's best for all. Then they are no longer a problem. But obviously we are going to have no option in this but to eliminate what is not best for all forevermore because then we have heaven on earth. As long as that which is self-interested and based on um, the self only and not what is best for all and as long as we allow that we allow the problems of the world to exist in the way it exists now and we allow starvation and we allow greed and we allow evil in every way therefore we are then the creators of that evil how do we stop it identify it and eliminate it and then walk in trust breath by breath make sure that every action always accumulates in what is best for all Use the equality equation. It never fails. But it shows where humans fail. And then we can sort them out. Join us at Destiny as we walk this path of creating heaven on earth. It is creatable and we are, in fact, the creators. So therefore, let's create that which is best for all.